Kansas on the road at BYU. BYU is a narrow three-point favorite. This game's 10-15 Eastern time on ESPN. BYU needs to be super careful here. Hangover situation, coming home. Kansas has a lot of firepower. This is not a game that BYU needs to mess around with. That's for sure. Question number one, do you realize how good Kansas is on offense? They just hung 40-plus on Iowa State, a team that had one of the better defenses in the Big 12. They're averaging nearly six and a half yards of play. They're fourth in the country in third down conversion percentage, and they have a bunch of super talented playmakers, not just a quarterback with Jalen Daniels. Jalen Daniels is excellent. He can run around, he can create, he can buy time, he's accurate when he throws it. He's very, very solid. But they have a one-two punch at running back. Devin Neal's the headliner. Daniel Hyshaw is also really, really good as a secondary back. When you also factor in Jalen Daniels' legs, this offense becomes even more difficult to stop on the ground. But they also have receivers on the outside too. Luke Grimm, Lawrence Arnold, Quentin Skinner. This is a talented group that BYU needs to be very careful with. Question two, can Kansas avoid the key turnover? It's amazing how many times Kansas seemingly has just had a game within their grasp, only to just gift wrap it, hand it to the opponent. Jane Daniels has nine interceptions this year. And a problem for Kansas in this matchup is that BYU is fifth in the FBS in takeaways with 21. So Kansas cannot turn the ball over against a very opportunistic BYU defense. Question number three, if this becomes a track meet, can BYU keep up? Look, Jake Retzlaff's been really good when things are clean. When he gets protection and his receivers are open and all these other things, I think he's really solid. But... When he gets pressured and you heat him up just a hair, he comes back to earth just a little bit. And you look at the offensive line the last couple of weeks, it hasn't been quite the same for BYU these last couple of weeks. So something worth watching there for sure. Trends in the game. Kansas, they have six straight games that have gone over the total. BYU, they've had five straight games that have gone over the total. So naturally, since Kansas is on a six game Cis game over streak and BYU's on a five game over streak. This game's going under, isn't it? For sure. BYU is covering right now. Vegas has not given BYU a lot of respect. 12 and a half points per game is the average cover margin. It's the third best in the FBS this year behind Indiana and South Carolina. I'm taking Kansas. I think it's just one of those spots that is terrible for BYU. I think they've been playing with fire. I think this is the type of offense that could burn them as long as Kansas doesn't turn it over. So if Kansas has zero turnovers, they win the game. But that's a huge if, given how many mistakes Kansas has made this season.